I just want to come in like Dora. <laughs> It's your girl Kat, and welcome back to my channel. Today's vlog, as you may see in the title, I'm getting my first tattoo. I might get two though. I have to go see my brother, um, because he's gonna come with me. My mom's working in the restaurant, so she can't come. And we're gonna go to this place that he knows, um, that he says they do a pretty good job. But of course, I have to see myself because I don't want a bad tattoo artist. I don't care how much I have to pay. As long as they do a good job. Another thing I didn't mention, which obviously you guys can notice. Um, yeah, my hair is short and curly. -ish. 2020 coming like Dora. <laughs> but um, yeah, my hair looks like Gaga right now. So um, just ignore that. But yeah, I have to go see my mom downstairs and my brother and like everyone else. So hopefully it's a good experience and I don't die. Alright guys, so right now he's about to start on my first tattoo and it looks like the one on my collarbone is already done but it's just the stamp that he lays down in order to trace over it later on. Yep, that was a pinch face. <laughs> and to be honest, at this point I'm just trying to figure out if it hurts or not or if it's just a little pinching, if that makes any sense. So I couldn't see how it was really turning out because of the position of my arm, but based on my brother's face expressions, I knew it was coming out good. After this, my arm went numb and I was just spacing out to be honest. <laughs> And we are all done. Tell me not guys, it looks amazing. And now it's time for the collarbone tattoo. And to be honest guys, I felt zero pain. Nada, like nothing, not even a little bit. That's just crazy. And here's where he asks me if I feel a little tingling or pain on my neck because that usually tends to happen when getting a collarbone tattoo. But yep, I didn't feel nothing. And now it's my brother's turn. He's just getting a touch up. But, um, yeah, yesterday I went to go get my tie, right? I know I look like a potato, just to ignore that fact. I look like a papa. Pero, that, that's what it is. But anyways, that's irrelevant. Um, so yesterday I got back, I got home from the tattoo parlor place. And he did a really good job, guys. Um, 
yeah, I'm actually really impressed. It didn't really hurt. It was just the fact of a little pinching. It's just like little needles, like exactly what it is. That's what it feels like. I mean, my tattoos were small, so it didn't really hurt. Even though they were my first ones, they didn't hurt. But once again, I do have high pain tolerance. So that's another thing why it might have not hurt me. Especially the one on my chest. Wait, I haven't showed you guys yet because I'm going to be unwrapping I'm wrapping myself like I'm a gift from God. But anyways, I've always been into tattoos, guys. I just never got one because I'm a good girl but a bad girl. Can, can you understand that? A good girl because I do my best to obey my parents. And um, if my mom doesn't want me to get a tat, then I won't. I, I, will, I would have over there though back in Jersey but thankfully she didn't after so much time begging her and I'm like mom I'm gonna put your name on my arm so like calm down it's not like it's gonna be a whole dragon on my wrist or some shit but um I think that's why she agreed but I got two I'll be moving the plastic from here and my wrist around 1 p.m. because I'm supposed to keep it on for 24 hours um yeah and then I have to clean like three times a day right now it's 8 13 in the morning Tuesday, January 7th. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'll check back in and let you know how the tattoos do. Yes, this is the first tattoo, which is my mom's name. Second name, her name is Deolinda, which is a rare name. I don't really hear people's name because her first name is Maria, obviously. Your grandma, your sister, your great great grandma, all their names is Maria. Like, there has to be a one Maria in your family, especially when you're Hispanic. But I wanted to put her second name because you know it's unique. And my second tattoo is on my collarbone, which is right here. Doesn't to be honest, it doesn't even hurt. Like that's how crazy it is. I thought I was gonna be in pain and it was gonna like I don't know, like burn or something, but no, it doesn't even hurt. I mean I've been taking good care of it. I have to wash it with an antibiotic soap. And then after that, I pat it dry with a clean towel. Of course, you do not want germs on your tattoos. Um, and then just use an antibiotic cream ointment. An antibiotic ointment on your tattoos and make sure you wash it. Well, the tattoo artist told me to wash it three times a day for like a faster, you know, cleansing. You always have to keep your tattoos moisturized because they're like, you're just gonna dry it up there, I guess. That's what it is. I don't really know, Bruh. but I just follow instructions. Um, and this is the second one. Let me zoom you guys in. It says, love yourself, um, because I've always been a very insecure. Now, I wanted to take the time and let you know that being insecure is normal, but it shouldn't be that way. Because we were born with one body and we should love ourselves no matter what. And always remember guys, confidence is key. I hope you stay tuned for the next videos and I will be posting more consistently this time. Um, if not, just follow me on my social medias. I have Instagram, Twitter. I don't really use Twitter. I'm starting to get, I'm trying to get used to Twitter because I don't know. I don't know. I've never really been into Twitter, but I'm trying to get into Twitter and TikTok. I'm I'm getting into TikTok, guys. Like you at first like on TikTok, whatever, and then once you realize it's three in the morning and you're still watching TikToks and it's been five hours and you feel like getting up and doing a TikTok, but then you think about it and you're just like, I can't fucking dance or I can't do shit. Yeah, I, I do more like the makeup looks, you know, just one of them that I did. But um, yeah, um, thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment on any ideas I should be doing. Would like me to try like makeup looks or just anything, anything in general. I'm down to try anything. Um, to be honest, I'm down to try anything. Make sure you stay tuned for the next video. I'll keep you guys updated on my social media. But um, yeah. Hope you enjoyed. It's your girl Kat and I'm out. Bye guys. Oh, and don't forget to turn on the post notifications. Click that bell. Peace. Um, I keep saying, oh, I'm like, what the fuck is this?